hey what's up we just came back from the gym and i'm so tired my hands are painful and everything but what's gonna happen is that i want you guys to come over to my club with me and then you will see what we do when we get up there today we're actually even gonna have a live cleaning session with my members so i'm just excited for today pull through What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, what's good. Um, so what actually is the purpose of today's live video? So I've noticed that there's a lot of members that obviously took part in our, you know, signals recently. And it could be that they just failing to execute those trades. Just make sure that you guys got your mics muted. Um, so what I was saying is that the way that we send out signals, the first thing that I do when I send out signals, it's even the way that I've spoken to all the members that this is how we should be sending signals, is to send you first the trade idea. We don't just come to you and say maybe sell now, um, you know, or, or, or buy now or, or anything like that. No, that doesn't happen. But it's that we send you first the trade idea. So the trade idea is for you to be able to see what are we actually seeing. For you, imagine you going to a store and then buying a car just because of it's a it's a blue BMW car that you wanted. It doesn't work that way. Even though it's a blue blue BMW car that you wanted that you saw at the garage, you 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 have to test drive it to feel. You have to see the condition, the mouse. How long do people drive with it? What you know is it messed up from the inside? You know, all you just have to see on your there's things that you need to do on your own in order of you to just um reach some specific levels. So I've seen that like you know when we send out signals like let's say for instance if I send out a signal what this. It's just me showing you what I've been looking at GDP, GDP, right? Because we try to avoid something whereby if price happens to go against us, someone will come up and say, I did see that it's selling. I don't know why you guys so um, bought. I bought two years, but I've seen that it's selling. The reason I send this is because for you, you need to see that, okay, this guy is seeing this. This is what he's seeing. That's why he's sending a selling signal. And then what it does is that you cannot decide if you are going to be taking the signal or not because if you take the signal, um, that means that you are accepting to it being there or you're accepting to us seeing it that way. But it doesn't mean when you accept, you shouldn't um, put down risk. Because I've seen most people just take good on a signal and not even respect the risk. So what happens is that when I send out a signal, I might send it out exactly as it is now. Let's say for instance, this is a cell I'm seeing on GPG, where I send it as exact as it is now. Meaning that it's a buy, it's a sell, so market execution is selling on the spot. My stop loss, I'll put it wherever it is, my take profit. So then what happens is that when I come through and I send the signal, I'll just come through here, very simple. I'll just come here, entry price, copy it, then I'll go into the Discord and then I paste it, and then I come back here, I say profit level, I copy it, and then um, I paste it and as well, take profit, and I copy it and I paste it. That's why you will see the exact same numbers that you're going to see in the Discord will be as exact same as the, um, the screenshot that you get. So it, 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 it's, we're focusing more on that. We've got a winning edge in the longer run. Longer run could be in a week, in two weeks, in three weeks, but not um, more than a month. That's why we've got a winning edge. Meaning that we can have three days today, tomorrow, and the next day having um, streaks of losses. And one thing that I like is that when we have losses, we don't over trade. Like if we took a loss already today, there's a high chance of us just being low, not sending signals for the day, and then basically trying to look for opportunities with the cleaner mindset for the next days. 
that's why you will see the only way actually taken us, we won't send, try to send a lot of signals because we know that's revenge trading. It's almost like us trying to make a winning signal for the loss that we made, and that's not the way to trade. But instead, what we are going to do is that as soon as even when we got the loss, we'll stop, we'll just accept the loss negative one percent, we take defeat, we'll then go not say anything, um, and then once maybe the next day we find more opportunity, that's when we'll come back. And we will see that when we do happen to be in profits, that's when we can actually send out more profits because now fortunately for the day we are up, we are in profits, and you know we can actually scale it up. Like the more we are, the more we are in a winning winning streak. That's the more we make the most out of it. And when you're in a losing streak, we just really do. Like when you're in a losing streak, the most important thing is just reduce the risk, reduce your um, percentages, amount of money you lose, all those things. Like it's just simple things that you need to do. But you will see it as we go. Remember, the reason I show you guys what price can do, like if I'm showing you that there's a high chance that price can move this way or this way, is because of if let's say we sell and the price goes, hits our stop loss. Yes, it's a losing trade, truly speaking, but find out that it's not a losing trade looking at it in our scenario because yes it took us out one percent but find out that it's also a scenario that we had that if price happens to take us out and play on here we are gonna buy so yes it did take us out when you look at it that way but when you're looking at it with a different eye it actually did also play out with the scenario that we had in mind i'm um, actually reading a book now it speaks more about you know always leaving room for error always if me myself when i'm placing trades i'm also always always leaving room for errors even you following through some of these signals, you need to leave room for errors on those signals because I myself taking my own signals, I leave room, room for error. I know I'll hit a stop loss. I know this can happen. I know anything can happen. This is the market. I don't control it. You know, um, there's people that have traded over 30 years. They still haven't figured it out. They just know what they need to do on, on, on their side. Like, you know, the, the, the system that they just need to follow. So it's more like that. You just have to sort um, the psychological side of it. Thankfully, we can help you easily with that. Um, Zach, Zach just asked, do you trade gold? No, 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 I did not trade gold. It's been over maybe four years now since I actually traded gold. But yeah, so what I focus more on is just what you see on the, on the screen. On the screen, yes, I found the US 30, US 100, and as well GBP, GPY. That's what I'm focusing on. This is what I told myself for the, like, the whole of last year, 2022, 2022, 2021. And hopefully moving forward, I'll just keep on because yes, I found that I got it maybe the whole of this year. When my brother saw the way that I was trading, my younger brother, he was like, hey man, try this out. I'm sure you'll make profits here because I saw this and this from your way. And then I went and I gave it a boy and I loved it. Like first day, I loved it. But as I'm, when I go in and I learn something new or I come up with something new, you know, um, I test it first. One thing that I do is that I test first, I test, 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 spend months. Or even weeks just like looking at back just and playing around you know uh, whatever testing can even find like small amounts of capital try to trade it see if i can really make money from it and then from there that's when you'll see me adding it and starting to send it as like you know ideas or signals okay so okay, i think for today's lesson we can end it or take it right here um, as well, I like the questions that you guys are coming up with. It's, it's creating the engagement and as well, maybe for others or those members. Because remember guys, um, a community is actually being built by not me, but by all of us taking part. So what I mean is that if maybe for instance, Ubuntu, um, you know, you ask a question, you've got clarity, you understand something. If someone out there asks a question that you see, you can as well be able to just, um, you know, get that person much more quicker. Because that way it means that, like, you know, I always say whatever you teach you also um teach yourself like what you teach you teach yourself so eventually it's more like that so right now we're done doing our last trading so not even like trading it was actually more like me with the members so right now what's gonna happen is that i am gonna teach too because i told us we are still gonna make current videos there's still things that we're gonna do and as well i did tell them that i'm looking for opportunities in the market so i need to just make sure that i get that just so i can be able to share with them and we can benefit as a team as a family but yeah i'm excited guys So what's gonna happen today is that we are gonna be entering the streets, going to see what's happening. My date is gonna be getting checked up, and as well, I have to get back here and look at the markets because that's the most important thing. That's my bread and butter. But let's get on it. Here we go. We're ready for session now.
can see right here, my brother's dedicated setting up just so we make sure that the course is like clean. But that's what we're working on now. You know, forex chases. We're not stopping. You know, they're trying to put us put the light off, but guess what I'm gonna do to them? I'm gonna put it right back on. Boom, just like that. That's how we come back to to life. Put the light off, come back to it. What do you think, my brother? Ah, all good, all good. All, all good, good, all good, all good. Let me test the lighting. You know what it is. Haha. <laughs> Okay guys, so what's gonna happen, now I'm gonna be wrapping up, it's out, so I'll see you guys in the next video, obviously you have been able to just see the last two days, what actually happened, the ups and downs, but not even that, because there's a lot of things that also did happen that I didn't, um, unfortunately I didn't bring the camera with, but I'll make sure that next time I actually include it for you, make sure that you like, comment, and as well subscribe to my YouTube channel, see you in the next YouTube video.